the energy today from the full moon is a strong and slightly overwhelming one, uh, but uh, I feel compelled to bring through an entity that has been um, communicating with me lately. They present themselves as the weavers. It uh, seems to be sort of an uh, insectoid, uh, but ascended intelligence. And uh, I think it'll be interesting to, to hear what they have to say. It seems that they have a lot of advice to shift on this type of, um, let's almost call it vibration, vibrational geometry. So the way you would uh, perceive ascension through a more uh, visual or structural um, lens. So uh, let's, uh, let's hear what they have to tell us. Yes, meow, 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 yes, meow, 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 yes, meow. We are the weavers of fate, time, and destiny. Our race came long ago from a place far away and yet so close now. In our memory, we integrate everything in the webs we weave. This is, of course, only a way for us to present ourselves to you that is relatable to something you may understand from your own world and perceptions. What took place with our race was that we, from our body, much like your spiders, spun creations that sustained us. We were able to take in foodstuffs and transform them directly by organic processes instead of using primarily heat or water as things you would use to manipulate materials into different practical tools and appliances. But our ascension was a long one. We came from a place a slight stretch across the galaxy closer to the center. Our name or vibration corresponding to it in human tongue would be Kaum. But we communicated more by the shapes and patterns we brought forward and that became our living spaces to a degree that they grew so complex that these, in, these themselves began to mirror sides of our reality. What you may understand as mathematics back to us and we realized from beholding our webs that these webs brought us into immaterial realities when they were worked through geometrically, proportionately and harmoniously enough. We discovered the, practi uh, the fractal as a practical function we could produce with our bodies and this meant that our bodies themselves became from birth 
the vessels of a sacred process that transmuted us. You could perceive the human mind in the same way, the thoughts running to you, they are not stratagems cracked up by an errant and aberrant brain. Instead, they are codes of varying insight. And those codes who produce the highest resonance in the human body start to change your DNA patterns just begins to alter your perception so radically that the non-physical world becomes first present in your mind and thoughts as a threatening entity, but then grows into existence and you begin to merge with this higher order where the shapes that are often invisible to you on your current levels of limited perception start to take place. And it is from this stepping in and out of time, so to speak, into the fractalized, spa fractalized spaces of harmony where you gather insight and where you gain the prices promised to you by those many doctrines of immortality established in all your major spiritual traditions. We had a long and troublesome ascension, much like any creatures, the details of which would be hard to you for you to comprehend as they relate to difficulties related to a completely strange and alien world with troubles that are unrelatable, although some of them also had to do with climatic problems in general. We had to alter our bodies too to accommodate these higher vibrations. And at some point, we began to center our consciousness first in the crystalline energy structures we established, and then from there moved into the non physical and began manifesting our teachings and influences throughout this galaxy and extending as a member of the Intergalactic Council of Light our wisdom also to other reaches of this cosmos we find ourselves in. Our lesson to you human beings that we offer this day is to see that these spinning mechanics surrounding you in your life are things that you generate from an intensity to create something harmonious out of your existence. And if you permit yourself to really look at the web of your existence, most of you will see the symphonic contrast in those experiences you have orchestrated for yourself. And many of you will also perceive this progression as a progression towards something that resonates within your personality and heart spaces as something wonderful. We remind you that the circuits of your body are, are exactly that. They are not streams of energy floating about 
and drying up, up as weather commands it. They are rather exactly that circuits. They circulate energy and they do so in wider and wider expanses, even as your physical body grows older, your soul becomes more integrated within the greater latticework of higher dimensional reality wherein it is fixated and embedded. These are perspectives you can use on your life to realize that even those thoughts you think that are without purpose and direction, they still come together to form the soil that grow the plants of trees, plants and trees of higher thought and impulse in your beautiful human mind. We love you, humans, and these words we offer to you in love. This energy, this day of your time, May 7th, 2020. It is a day where energy beams in and shifts your codes into these circuits of higher galactic alignment and from here on what timelines and entities you wish to connect to will rely much upon the perspective you choose and the resonance patterns this perspective is founded in so that you will find the crystalline grits in your heart space waking up to vibrate out the right secrets for you to know at the right time. We leave you, love you and laugh with you this day and always. We are the we, we are the we we was we are the we was we are the we was we weave the strands of time into webs of infinite and righteous complexity. Blessed are you, sweet humans.